Welcome back to this week's edition of the WCHS News. We have Alex and Sam as our anchors. Cameron with weather. Abby and Claire with dad jokes. Dylan and Ty with hallway antics. Tyler Biggs with sports. Take it away, Sam and Alex. Good morning, Wes Carter, and welcome back to school. I hope your break was great. Mine was. How was yours? I tell you what, Alex, it was just all right. Here's some of your announcements. The band has an assessment on the 14th. FBLA and SCLP will be gone through the 19th. Sorry. Whew. I don't know, man. It still feels like the Friday before break to me. Let's just go to Cameron with weather. Welcome back. This week's weather is by far the best that we've had all year, with lows in the 40s and highs in the 70s. As you can see outside, the sun is shining, which is something we all love to see. Thursday will be the same, but Friday will be partly cloudy. Don't worry, we're going to have a high of 73 that day. Throughout the weekend, we might get a little drizzle here and there, but then again, a little rain never hurt nobody. Monday and Tuesday, again, are warm, but slightly cloudy. Back to you, Sam and Alex. Man, it sure is starting to warm up out there. <laughs> it's hot! It is so warm in this <laughs> room. <laughs> yes, it is, Alex. Let's check out what's going on around the school. Love to see it. Now let's go to Claire with our shout out of the week. Our comment spotlight this week is Kaylee Mabry. She is the president of FFA, a junior here at West Carter, and owns her own business. So tell us a little bit about your business. Well, my business, named Mabry Cut, Mabry's Cut Flowers, is a floral arrangement business where I sell bouquets, boutonnieres, and other floral arrangements. I grow them all from seed all the way up to marketing, pricing, and selling. How do you, mar you mentioned marketing, how do you market those flowers? Well, I market them a few different ways. Like I sell a lot of flowers on my business-based Facebook page. You can look up Mabry's Farms on Facebook. And I sell at the Round County's Farmer's Market from June all the way up until September. And this year I'm starting a new thing. I'm going to be making prom bouquets and boutonnieres. So you can contact me on any of my personal social medias or my phone number um, or that Mabry's Farms page that I mentioned. Cool. Um, what's some accomplishments you've gotten with your business? Well, there's a few different accomplishments that I've got just through FFA because we do have um, projects called SAEs, which are any any agricultural experience that we have outside of school. And with those, the biggest one that I say that I've got is that I was a 2022 Kentucky FFA SAE launch grant recipient. And that was really big for me. They give you $500 to start up your business. And with that, I was able to purchase a greenhouse and a lot of seed for my business. Well, congrats on that. Thank you. As president of FFA, where do you see FFA going? Well, I am so, so proud of our FFA chapter this year. We have grown our membership by almost 20%, and we have a great group of officers that I just love so much. I love all of our members. We have a lot of active members this year. It's great to see them really participating in our activities and our competitions. And I'm so, so proud of us, and I can't wait to see what our members are going to do at State this June. Thank you for sitting with me. This concludes our Comet Spotlight for the week. And look at all those pretty flowers. Yes, Alex, so pretty. Now time to introduce a new segment titled Talking with Ty with our ex-anchor. We're here with Holly Shenanigans. This is Brody Boggs. Hey. What do you think about my new haircut, Brody? I love it. Me too. If you had to recommend any advice to the people at home, what would it be? Get Ty's haircut. Thank you. Let's see who we can find in the hallways. Hey, you. Me? Yeah. Hi. What's your name? Levi Fields. Where do you go to school at, Levi Fields? West Carter High School. And what's your favorite thing to do? Paint. <laughs> We're entering a live classroom setting. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here with Jackson Stewart. Jackson Stewart, what do you like to do for fun? 
draw. Really? Is that why you took an art class? Yeah. Cool. Very. Cool, cool, cool. I have to say you have some pretty nice hair, Jake Carter. I uh, appreciate it. You too, Tyler Stinson. Thank you, thank you. I guess you could say we're just a couple of, uh, what would you say we're a couple of? Just blonde boys doing what blonde boys do. Oh yeah, brother. Huh. Watch it, tough guy. Uh, guys like you are easy picked. Uh -huh. You just got that on video? You're gonna be issued a class action lawsuit for assault guy. That was interesting. It very much was. Now it's time for dad jokes with Abby and Claire. Hey, Abby. Claire? Yeah. What do you call a zombie that doesn't joke around? Dead serious. I like that one. If you ever get locked out of your house, just speak to the lock calmly. Because communication is key. <laughs> hey, Abby. How does an Englishman invite a dinosaur to tea? T-Rex? <laughs> okay. I was once kidnapped by mimes. They did unspeakable things to me. <laughs> Hey, Abby. Hey, Claire. Did you hear about the guy who evaporated? No. He will be missed. Okay. Hey, Claire. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mississippi. What do you call a bear that gets all the ladies? A grizzly bear. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Man, those dad jokes really just... Take on my fancy. Most definitely, bro. It's sports with T-Biggs. Hi, I'm Tyler. Let's get right back into the Comet news. Let's talk about the boys' baseball team. Recently, the Comets have been on a roll with back-to-back -back wins, beating Fleming County 1-0 and Menifee County 7-1. Go Comets! The softball team has also been winning games, recently beating Fairview 9-3 and Cross Lanes 9-6. Let's congratulate our Lady Comets and hope they keep winning games. Spring practice is now in for football, and also we have our upcoming track meet Friday. Well, this is all for the latest sports news. Back to you, Alex. Glad to see our spring sports getting off to a hot start. Agreed. Great to see all our sports teams succeed. Glad to be back, and I hope you guys are too. As always, I'm Alex Cottle. And I'm Napoleon Dynamite. Quit messing with the teleprompter. Sorry, we seem to have technical difficulties, but I'm Sam Boggs, and you stay real, Wes Carter.